Did, did you see the, the the Justin Bieber interview with this one guy he did where he's crying? Yeah, I don't know. Did you with see? Him? Oh hell, y'all! This is yeah. Eric says on YouTube, pin down in the description. Go subscribe, show some love. Let's keep going. Yeah. He's talking about Haley, and he's like, he's bawling pack because he doesn't yeah. want I want her to know that you know she can count on me but at the end of the day i don't want to i'm never gonna force myself to be in relationship with her it has to be natural right so i just kind of you know let her do her thing and if she ever needs me i'm gonna be here for her but um but yeah just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh encounters and um kind of gotta get thick skin you know when you're in this industry and you can't believe most of what right, you a lot of it's made up is but uh, i'd say surround who you surround your child with is the most important thing you know just when we thought diddy's sh Damn, that was his mom right that's justin bieber's mom daddy deals were done we have justin bieber's mom coming up exposing his ungodly things he did to justin countless allegations were getting shot at diddy and it became a wake-up call to patty realizing that justin was also a victim during his teenage years when you Oh, hell. You have a son who is a superstar. You've got to think about security and safety. I mean, you've got so many people who want to, you know, see him, be him, marry him. But you also got the crazies out there. Do you worry about his safety? Of course. I mean, I think every mom worries about their kids. So, um, but he's got really good security guards and, and um, a great team around him that, you know, try to keep oh, hell. him out of dangerous situations. Well, I mean, now that he's 18, I kind of, it's, it's time for me to let go a little. But when he was younger, you know, I couldn't ground him. If it, when you're in this industry and you can't believe most of what right, you a lot need. of it's made up, is it? Did he sign him over to Usher for like whatever? And then Usher was like, gave him to P. Diddy for 48 hours or something? Or how the, what the, how does it even work? It's crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's it's tough, but you know he's uh, he's held his head high and and handled some situations really well. Whoa. Known as the supportive mother of Justin since the early days of his career, Patty began to point fingers as she traced down the history regarding Justin's suffering. Even Usher's name was dragged into the scene. That part leading to more speculations about what other roles he played throughout this mess. Actually, someone made reference to the fact. That Diddy trying to get at Bieber the way he was trying to get at Bieber was looking a little predatory. And then Usher came in. Oh, hell. And discovered it and managed him and got custody of him and promised to look after him. Got custody of him? And then he sent him to the diddler. With numerous issues. The diddler. That's crazy. Surfacing against Diddy, it's pretty much obvious that the collateral damage will soon follow. Rumor after rumors dancing in the spotlight, and with pieces of evidence against Diddy, it's only a matter of time before those turn into the truth. Now, what would you do if your son was also a potential victim in this fiasco? That's the question that Patty Millette needs to address. As the spotlight shines bright on Diddy, it also lightens up all the dark schemes that he has been doing behind the scenes. It so happens that the industry right. connected a lot of artists, and now a rumor has surfaced that Justin was groomed by Diddy. What more Patty does not know about Justin oh, hell. Justin's past? Surely things will get messy as Patty tries to unfold the truth. And with that, let's do a quick rundown of the topic first. Patty Mallet, the mother of Justin Bieber, who was just aiming for the bright success of her son's career, was finally woken up by the series of controversies that Diddy has been to, opening up the previous history of Justin Bieber, and now realizing all of the wrongdoings that led to her son's downfall, both in career and mentally. Now, I don't confirm any of the rumors. I'm just discussing what's on the internet. But honestly, the amount of evidence coming up against Diddy, we might know what's the truth. Now, for those who don't know oh, how Diddy is related to Bieber and how he got his hands on him in the first place, we need to rewind a little bit. We're looking back more than a decade ago. Justin Bieber was discovered by an American talent manager, Scooter Braun back in 2008 yes oh hell the guy scooter who has a famous beef with taylor swift scooter saw a bright future for justin and since justin was still a minor scooter reached out to his mom now there is an interview clip where scooter braun allegedly made an inappropriate joke that explains what diddy might have done to bieber watch this um and then i found this little kid on youtube in the middle of the night because that's what happens when you're a grown man on the internet in the middle of the night, you stare at a little boy singing and you're like, little boy, come be with me. And, and 
You what? God, I'm so glad I got out of the music industry. Yo, I got stories you wouldn't even believe. And and I'm the only person that's never been arrested for doing that. Um, and uh, and that was Justin Bieber. As a mother, Patty wanted the best for Justin since the kid posed a potential talent that could be further polished. She may have good intentions, but her decision made a lot of people raise their eyebrows, especially mm. in today's generation. Maybe it was a bit too naive for Patty's side to send her son to Atlanta at the age of 13, hoping everything would be fine without a parental supervision. They were just recording music. What could go wrong? As a teenager, oh hell, herself, Patty dreamed of becoming an actress, but plans. Were oh hell no, Grace! I never went to anything like that. Hell no. Were changed when she. But even not going to anything with the stuff that you see. She became pregnant at eight. Like, oh, I'm getting the hell out of this, this crap. 18. She raised Justin alone, although he remains in touch with his father. Patty worked low paying office jobs to make ends meet. Aligning with her history, Patty probably saw this as an opportunity for Justin to have a better life than her. As Justin's mother, Patty was still required to sign documents for her son as the legal guardian of the upcoming star. However, things quickly change when Usher and Scooter are the ones that mainly supervise Justin rather than Patty herself. I would describe her as like the strongest woman that I know. Mm. Um, Whoa. Especially having to hear those things about your son must be hard. Um, she raised me on her own, which is hard. And uh, she moved away from everything she ever knew to come and help me pursue what I love. In 2009, Patty claimed that no 15 year old wants to be around his mother 24 seven she said, and no mother wants to be around her 15 year old 24 seven either. During that time, it seemed her actions oh, hell. made sense to her since she wanted the path for Justin's career. Back then, Patty even let Justin hang out with Diddy for 48 hours, closed doors, and with minimal information shared with the public. Patty herself at 15, man might even be clueless about what had happened in those two days. It was November 10th, 2009, when Justin himself uploaded a two minute video of him talking with Diddy, plotting what they would do during that special day. What's even crazier is that the video resurfaced today on YouTube, exactly when countless Diddy was currently facing numerous cases. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we gonna go full. Buck full crazy. Going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. Man, after my heart, that's possible. The netizens commented. Whoa. YouTube is crazy for recommending this right now. And this aged horribly. It was an innocent content back then, but now the video is filled with controversies related to Diddy grooming Justin and becoming a bad influence towards him. You can still look for the video on Justin's official YouTube account. Watch it if you have time, and maybe you could see the red flags that Patty missed during that time. While Patty begins to retrace all the mistakes she made years ago, a lot of opinions circle around the issue. Dang. Jaguar Wright pointed her finger at Usher, saying that it was Usher who brought Justin to Lindy, I'm going to check that out too. Thank you. At first, she recognized that Usher was a victim as well, but that didn't excuse him from letting Justin walk on the same path that he did. He took Justin Bieber there. Did he even trying to get to Bieber for a minute? And his management was backing him. Oh, hell. By the way, YouTube, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get 100 likes. TikTok, hit the follow button if you're new here. Tap the screen like crazy. Thanks for the love. Hit the follow button. And thank you for the little hand hearts, y'all. Come on. But it wasn't until Usher took over management and had guardianship and gave temporary guardianship to the diddler for 48 hours. As Justin, oh God. Justin grew up, it was a rough path that showed how stardom and the influence of others changed him entirely. In 2020, Justin posted a documentary sharing how he started to get addicted to these illicit substances. Justin admitted that the first time he tried an illegal substance was when he was 13 years old. And even though there was no name oh, hell. dropped in his documentary, 
it's easy to trace who were the people surrounding him during his teenage years. Patty also believed that Diddy played a huge role in Justin's downfall, becoming one of the reasons for his trauma. Patty also claimed that Justin suffered from Sugar, unspeakable things, causing PTSD that Justin endured secretly. As more rumors were popping out uncontrollably, the netizens were furious with both Patty and Usher, calling them out for their actions that enabled the abuse of Justin. I don't care what y'all say, but I think Justin's mom and Usher's mom are just as much as to blame for letting their kids stay in that f up predicament for money, no doubt. An interesting fact regarding Whoa, hell. Regarding this situation is that there's a rumored song wherein Justin sings a new song about his experience. In the music, there was a line where it was mentioned, lost myself at a Diddy party, didn't know that's how it'd go. I was in it for a new Ferrari, but it cost me way more than my soul. Signed the paper so he never had to say sorry, lost myself at the Diddy party. However, this rumored song, song was a bit sketchy since it was not on Justin's YouTube channel. The source of the clip was still unknown, and it looks like it was a snippet from a whole song. A lot of the netizens believed that it was true, but there were still some who pointed that the song was AI generated. The most interesting part of this confusing scenario was that there were still some saying, just because it's AI generated doesn't mean it's not real. Obviously, this is real. Diddy just got arrested for this exact thing. Regardless, the oh, hell. said music just added more fuel to the raging fire against Diddy. With Justin mentioned the paper that was signed, it was Patty Mallet who took part in this role as his guardian. Patty claimed that the conditions were manipulative and coercive, telling us that the contract was designed to exploit the artist's vulnerabilities. Due to the privacy of the contract, the ex Dear God. exact words inside of it were never shared in public. However, Patty stated that during the contract signing, she was pressured to agree with the terms since Justin was reaching the peak of his career at that point in time. Patty admitted that she saw the red flags in the music industry in general, where artists were pressured to accept unfavorable terms to achieve their dreams. These practices have been behind the curtains, and Patty was sh unfavorable. Man. Sharing the awareness now since they experienced it firsthand. Yes, it was too late now for Patty to change her views regarding the contract she signed, which snowballed into an abuse she didn't foresee. But as the truth finally burst into the scene, Patty takes this opportunity to give the justice that they deserve. As of today, Teresa, thank you. a lot of news outlets are trying to ask Justin about the recent controversies about Diddy. Everyone wants to hear a word from him since Justin was one of the people who could expose everything that Diddy did. However, it wasn't the right time for him to address the issue since Justin and Haley had a child recently. Justin said that he just wants to focus on being a great dad and husband for now. As for Patty, it looks like she was ecstatic with the newborn too, showing her proud grandmother's side on the internet as she posted this on her oh, Instagram. Thinking deeper on Patty's side, it's quite hard to just double down on every bit of her decision. Yes, what she did was not right, and she played a role in allowing Justin to experience such things. It's easy to pinpoint all of the wrongdoings she had made, and no amount of justification could reason out her actions. Despite Patty's struggles in raising Justin, some still call her out saying that it was impossible for her to know nothing about damn is that him that's not justin bieber right there is it that is crazy that must be like kind of recent huh he looks like he aged like 40 years about the whole mess questioning her actions since Heather, yeah that's true what about aaron carter he went to the diddy party when he was young too damn they believed Patty could have prevented everything back then, instead of chiming in at this point in time. They even claimed that Patty only wanted the money back then. Some even stated that Patty should be put in jail too, which sparked some arguments. At the end of the day, Whoa. those who target the weak should be the one who takes the blame. The industry holds a dark place, and the innocent ones get eaten by the system and abused. Sure, there are enablers who allow these things to happen, but none of those would have happened if the predators were called out immediately. It was poor parental guidance of Patty Millette to Justin Bieber, as the audience calls her, but they were also victims that were taken advantage of. Mm.